welcome to b2b chronicles my name is rakesh gupta and today we are going to talk about the question that change everything but before we dive deeper into that part let's talk about what b2b chronicles is all about b2b business to business there could be b2c business to consumer there are lot of channels regarding b2c but here we are talking about b2b business to business where a business is selling to another business chronicles chronicle is a account of series of events right in b2b chronicles we are going to talk to industry veterans we are going to learn from their experiences we will also have leadership tips so that you can also advance your career in that way uh, we will uh, have uh, historical events which has happened in b2b uh, industry so this b2b chronicles we are going to have diverse set of uh, episodes covering uh, various areas let's come to our today's topic the question that change everything so depends on how what kind of questions you ask it can determine whether you will have a great innovation new products it can also give you areas where customers pain point is there you can also discover new areas of your business growth not only that it establishes your credibility with the other teams a question can do all these things right question to ask let me give you some examples let's go to steve jobs so when the team at apple they were doing work on ipod that time steve jobs asked this question to the team how can i have thousand songs in my pocket i want to design a product so that thousand songs can be put in the pocket at that time this was unthinkable but the team worked on that question and they came out with this wonderful product ipod that revolutionized the whole industry you remember before that it was walkman you know it was not very handy everybody purchased ipod they were listening to songs and apple made a huge comeback huge huge comeback with the discovery of ipod so here that question made the difference now let's look at our day to day life we go to a doctor right doctor doesn't know what is your disease why you have come what the first question will ask the doctor doctor will ask aap yahan kyon aaye what brings you here so that's a very open ended question now we have two types of questions one is a open ended question one is a close ended question so when you have an open ended question the customer will can give you a range of answers whereas a close ended questions you will get yes or no so the doctor will ask a very open ended question then you will describe then they will have a probing questions why you have fever how many times you had fever did you vomit is it hereditary range of questions to give you so that you will have a tree right decision tree if this happens then this happens then this happens then this happens and then within 5 to 6 questions he is able to diagnose what is the underlying disease and maybe you know they will refer to some diagnosis and then with that they can give you a remedial medicine this is the power of questions what kind of questions you ask how you are asking now i will give you one more example of my personal life as well i went to one of the customers with a very experienced sales person it was a paint industry now when our sales person met their engineering head our sales person asked what do you use for resin transfer now with that question it change everything the whole discussion change everything because the customer could relate that this guy understands my business so to ask such questions you have to have a great preparation you need to understand which customer you are visiting what applications they will be having and how you know those questions can really set the tone of the conversation and establishes 
a clear connections between you and the customer so that's the power of asking the right question now i will also give you one more technique on on the questions this is known as mckenzie's 5y this was also used by toyota a lot here it's basically the point is if you ask five times why then you will go to the under root cause of why the things has happened so for example a car breaks down why the car break down the engine was not working why the engine was not working because the lubrication oil was not changed why the lubrication oil was not changed because the return manual was not there so like this if you ask five times why you will get to the under root cause of the problem so we talked about steve jobs we talked about a doctor we talked about how to establish our credibility with the customers we also talked about five whys now uh, this was uh, the power of uh, questioning so let's prepare let's uh, dive deeper into whenever we have any meetings what kind of questions we need to ask so that we can uncover new areas right new innovations like ipod new ways to establish yourself like we did the sales person did with the customer by asking what kind of resin pump they were handling so this was uh, today's episode hope you liked it i request you to please like comment subscribe and share this video we'll come back with another episode uh, give me your uh, areas of interest what kind of topics you would like me to cover and we'll talk more about it thank you see you again